new screeners tutorial. Today we're going to talk about volatility. So I already did the tutorial about Bollinger Bands which represent the volatility. If you don't know what volatility is, it's a little complicated to understand. Well, the concept is easy, but to really put it in a really mathematical way is complicated. So to me, volatility is how much the asset is swirling around the median, you know, uh, how very, very wide Bollinger Bands indicate very, very high volatility. It means when the price is shooting up or shooting down and low volatility is when the price is really, really not moving any, any, any strongly. So this is what we want to look. Why do, we, do I like slow volatility? Because low volatility usually means that when the volatility reaches a very, 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 very tight point, it means that it's going to blow up afterwards. So how to look at volatility in the crypto screener in TradingView? So go to your crypto screener. Oh, you're, go you're starting to know that how to do that. I'm going to select my screener because for the sake of this video right now, it's not important. And we are going to uh, take a look at the, the screening list. So I remove this filter. Oh, I'm out of battery. And you're going to go to the column sets. So this is a range of preset columns. So you don't need that at the moment. You need to go to the column setup and you're going to remove anything so we can see what we're doing. So as you can see, as I remove what's in this list, it removes what's in the trading list. And we want to display I'm going to type in, as I explained to you, you're going to click on the column setup here with the three dots and you're going to type volatility. And you have the choice between volatility on the month, volatility on the week, and volatility on the day. So I'm going to choose volatility on the month and this is going to allow you to sort coins by clicking on this column. You see the little arrow here is pointing up, so it means it's sort from um, small the smaller to the bigger and if you click again the, the arrow goes to the bottom and it means it's sorting to the bigger to the smaller. If you want to sort things to the small, smaller volatility to the bigger volatility you just leave it right like that. You can apply the filter for example to filter the BTC pairs and you're going to have only the BTC pairs and of course you're not going to use that on uh, alone, you're going to use that with other indicators such as Bollinger Bands, such as Ishimoku, such as Exponential Moving Average that all of these things I already did tutorials up on the YouTube channel if you want to watch them I will link the playlist in the description down below hope you learned something in this video if you did please leave me a thumbs up if you want to see more tutorials please subscribe because I will do more and if you want to have daily insights about my positions to show you that I am a trader that shows his positions and I think uh, it's very important for us traders to be transparent about our losses and our gains. Follow me on Twitter. Thank you very much. Goodbye. See you in the next video.